Hi, it's Adrienne. How are you doing today? I did a blue look today. Can you tell? <laughs> um, I have a palette that I purchased actually last, uh, during the holidays last year. And I just got it because I wanted to try this brand again. And I looked at it and I looked at it and, and I thought, well, it just isn't my color story. It's way too much of blue and more blue and purples and blues and everything. So I put it in a corner and I've been avoiding it. And I got it out and decided that I do a look with every single palette I get. So I may as well do a look with this palette too. And today was the day. It's sort of rainy outside and it's, yeah kind of overcast so I thought yeah I'll sit down and play with it and uh, yeah blues are difficult in their own way but they're really pretty too <laughs> so um, I figured that I'd go ahead and get started I started with the Kosas and this is their foundation I have it in 110 and then I went ahead and used the ColourPop um, concealer and this concealer did double duty. I was smearing it everywhere and trying to clean up all the lines and everything because this stuff wanted to blend into next year. So uh, this is a wonderful concealer. I use it all the time. So if you have a chance to pick it up, ColourPop, you can get it at Ulta or you can go ahead and get it on the ColourPop website. So great stuff. This is amazing. And as far as what I did from there, I went ahead and did my blush, which is the Out of Quartz, and this is a Super Shock Cheek. This one is by ColourPop also, and so that's what I went ahead and used as my blush. <coughs> Excuse me. And I went ahead and used the Lumi Bronzer as far as my bronzer today. This is their lightest one. It comes off as sort of a gold. So that's what I have on as far as bronzer. And let's see. I was going to go ahead and since everything turned out so blue, um, I got out my Undone and, um, well, actually backing it up a step, um, I went ahead and used Flexitarian and I use that as my highlighter all over. And then with the turning out so blue, I thought I would go ahead and go into this blue to go ahead and it's more of a purple, but to add some more highlighter on there has a little bit of a different, yeah, might as well, huh? So adding a little bit of a blue in there. So there we go with more of a blue look. Yeah. And um, as far as going ahead and using mascara, went ahead and used the Essence uh, False Lash Effect and then I added in the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Wear so I went ahead and used both of these and um, really liking the way that the lash I was afraid I wouldn't have enough lashes for the color and as far as what I did on the lips I did a combo I used um, Let's see, it's Complicated by Oma, and you can go ahead and get this um, at Walmart. It's um, the Oma by Sharon C, and it's available in Walmart stores. And then I mixed the, uh, this is the Wet and Wild Gloss with it. So that's what I have on today to go along with it. And yeah, it came right along, huh? And then as far as the actual palette that I'm working with, 
it was a complete surprise to me because uh, this company has a reputation of uh, not having the best quality or the most pigment or, you know, doing a lot of dupes. And with this palette, I think they hit the nail on the head. So uh, this is Revolution, and this is their Earth Shadow Palette, and it's a huge palette. And you can see there are a ton of blues in here. Um, I started with this blue, and I put this all over the lid. I used this blue um, to go ahead and blend out, and also as an eyeliner. Um, I used a little bit of this blue in the eyeliner, and so this is just a huge palette, and I didn't, I'm not sure what possessed me to get it, but I was on the Ulta, and then I used some of this silver as well in there, and um, I was on the Ulta website, and it just looked so amazing that I just went ahead and picked it up, and uh, this eyeshadow formula is really pretty amazing, and um, And so, as far as the way they look, so the Bright Palette by Beauty Bay, I went ahead and added in a little bit of that color. Don't ask me why. It just happened. And um, I used the Gel Eyeliner by ColourPop in Turquoise, and I used it, um, yeah, I did my, um, it's not tight lining, it's when you do the rim on the bottom. So I added in uh, some of that there. And this is the way that the look turned out. And I think maybe I want to go ahead and add in more of a red into the cheek look. I mean, why, why not, right? We already got a whole bunch of so let me see. I redid a whole bunch of stuff here. So this is the found in the rose glow. And I think I'll go ahead and add a little bit of this in. This is one of those BS Mall blushes. And let's see. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's going ahead and bringing it. Yeah. A little darker. But anyway, um, so this is what I ended up with. And um, yeah, I. if you want an amazing blue palette that you can go ahead and do just about anything with, these are still available over at Ulta. And the quality on these is pretty amazing. And I think that... Um, uh, yeah, it just sort of blew me away. I've been around, you know, Makeup Revolution for a long time. I've tried their palettes. I was really a fan of their baked eyeshadow, or baked blushes for a long time. I used them as eyeshadows too, but um, I was really, but I never really liked the regular formula. And if you want, you know, a blue palette, blue palette with every color you can think of and um, and then some um, I would definitely say to go ahead and pick that one up it's pretty amazing so uh, that's my look and um, hopefully it hasn't smeared I don't think it will though I did use some powder over the top of it but yeah it's dark it is really dark and um, Yep, I think that's going to be the, um, yeah, the video today. So thank you. Have a great day, okay? Bye.